Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are not new. Today we have a get ready with me and these are questions that you guys have been like wanting to know. So I'm really excited to chat with you guys a little bit, catch you guys up to speed. This is like a real time video. So I do have some pre-filmed content, but I wanted to participate in Vlogmas. So it's kind of like a little combination of like the two. I do want to thank Dossier for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Dossier is a perfume company based in France and they have designer dupe perfumes at a fraction of the cost. They are also now in Walmart, which is really exciting, but I think all of the best sales are on their website directly. I will have a link down below and you guys can get money off and these are great gifts like for stocking stuffers or if you just want to give someone a perfume that they've been wanting to try but they weren't sure if they should like buy the like designer name brand i think this is a great way to try them out as well they are clean and they're vegan and cruelty free i love that because i'm always really cautious about using scents near my cat huge fan of their perfumes i have ambry saffron which is one of my go-to it's the baccarat rouge dupe and then i also use floral five which i believe is the chloe dupe so i love mixing the two and it creates like my signature perfect scent i get so many compliments on it and i've also been using their la lava dupe which is like lilabo like santal something i love my apartment to smell like the one hotel so if you guys have ever stayed there you guys have ever gone that's what my apartment smells like so it smells delicious and it's just so nice so like like subtle but like musky at the same time and it's great for the winter time i think it's the perfect scent for that i think in the summer it can tend to be a little bit too much but in the winter it's perfect and it's just really nice overall so huge fan i'll have a link down below so you guys can check them out great for gifts they have so many amazing deals going on so be sure to check it out without further ado let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me video i went ahead and applied my hyaluronic acid um sunblock so i love this one so much i don't think i'm gonna be outside today like i'm just working near my window and then i also i'm gonna go to the gym which like has a lot of light in it so i think it's always important to like protect your skin of course but i want to show you guys like a winter outfit that i'm excited to wear so i wanted to talk to you guys about some things and you guys came in rolling with the questions so the first one being am i doing vlogmas um i have no idea i think i am like, I want to say that I am, but I just don't know, like, oh my god, I don't know, Vlogmas makes me so anxious because I feel like people are posting, like, their day-by-day -day routine and stuff, and, like, I don't know, it kind of gets a little scary, so I think I'm going to, and because downtown LA is, like, not that big at all, I think I'm going to, well, granted, I'm only going to be in town for, like, see, this is why, like, I can't. <laughs> Like, I feel like I give too much information because I'm just like, oh, la, 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 whatever. Like, I don't really, like, I'm just so naive, you know? But I definitely want to try it out. I don't think it's going to be day day by day. I think I'm going to do maybe two or three days at a time or, like, just bunch up a few days. And some days might be different content, like a what's in my bag or something like that. Like, I don't think I'm going to be vlogging every single day. I think I definitely want to break sometimes. So... It's always nice to add like sit down videos i feel like sometimes you guys like that such as this one and i always chat a lot i feel like there's so much to talk about all the time especially in my life because it can get a little crazy definitely want to do vlogmas not really going out on dates much pretty like at all just because i have finals coming up and i am in school i am interested of course in doing vlogmas but i guess we'll just have have to see how it goes because i'm kind of nervous i feel like i don't know how many people would be interested in watching me like literally every single day or like every other day i also got a lot of questions about school okay i think my eyebrows are done i kind of don't really want to do more to them i've been loving the straight brow lately so let's move on to primer i already put on the chanel what is this le beige sheer healthy glow liquid fluid i love this stuff it's so good i'm gonna use the milk hydro grip primer i feel like a lot of people ask me about school and i kind of like don't really want to answer it because i get like really anxious and like i don't know i feel like sometimes it's just the decisions that i make make sense to me but it might not make sense to other people and for my job i currently have i never needed a degree like i just worked my way from the bottom up which was actually really nice i don't know if i should do my everyday makeup or if i should use makeup that i don't normally use so i went ahead and applied the lancome camouflage concealer i use this underneath my dark circles and then i went ahead and used the 
CoverGirl concealer as well as the Charlotte Tilbury because this one's brighter and I like it. So I just sprayed my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and then I'm just going to blend it out. So I've gotten a lot of questions about school. I am in school um, for business economics. That's my major, which I love. So yeah, I'm just taking classes. I'm in concurrent enrollment. That is what everything looks like blended out. Now I'm going to go in with my Chanel foundation. This is in the shade BD51. And I just use one pump of it and then I just like to dot it on my face. You don't need a ton of this, but you need enough to cover like this area. A lot of people have asked me about school and I think that I'm very private about it just because like I don't feel comfortable like sharing things about it and people have asked me like what school do you go to what school do you go to i go to university but there are several in southern california so do with that what you will but yeah i love it and i'm able to juggle everything granted i'm not a full-time student which is kind of like not great but i think doing everything in your own pace is really important because if you try to keep up with everyone and you try to do everything at everyone else's pace or like the pace that is needed to like graduate on time whether you're doing your, your business degree or whether you are an undergrad i feel like it's definitely like really stressful and i think there's so much pressure with like finishing school and i think you should just enjoy your time and just do everything as you want i mean obviously if you don't have the money for college then yeah finish fast because of tuition but in the bigger picture i think that me doing everything at my own pace is just really comfortable for me and I do work full time and so I obviously need to keep a roof over my head which is my main priority so that's definitely something that you also have to consider when you're in school. So I always have a lot going on but I think that I juggle it pretty well. I'm using the Merit bronzer which I did not take with me for Thanksgiving because I don't know I just took the Lancome one which I do like a lot but I really like both products but obviously you don't need the Lancome one if you have this already or if like you have a bronzing stick that you love I just had it just because that used to be my shade when I would go tan and like be in Cabo a lot yeah I just wanted to find another use for it and it's crazy how now it's like my contour shade because I just like try to stay out of the sun as much as possible I feel like this Merit bronzer also kind of turns into like a powder almost like the formula is very strange like almost feels like satin also you guys i told you i wasn't going to get my lashes done and and i did not no i didn't i actually ended up doing like a diy lash extension because it's not that i was tired of getting my lashes done but i was just tired of like the spacing in between because i felt like my lashes looked very strange when i would be in between like that three week period like the two to three week mark that's when I noticed like my lashes falling off and to be honest I hated that so much like I felt like I couldn't film I felt like I couldn't really like go out and do stuff like I didn't I felt like ugly I just decided to do like DIY lash extensions because it got to a point if you guys like watched my vlog you guys know like I got to a point where I was just like okay I'm over this like I just want them filled I want them to be full again and I don't want to lay there for an hour and a half to get my lashes done so I opted to do it myself and I love it you guys let me show you guys the kit that i'm using actually i'll also have it linked down below in case you guys are interested and if you guys want me to i'll show you guys during vlogmas like how i do them because i think that's like a better example of like my lashes so i did use ardell like natural lash just like for thanksgiving because i didn't have like these lashes with me but here i have like some spikes so I'll link it down below. These are the cluster ones and they go from 12 millimeter to 18. I actually used to have 18 millimeters on my eyes with my other lash tech, but I mainly use like 15 is the longest that I use because I want a more natural look, but I think I might add like longer ones, like the ones that are in the middle, because these go from like short to like tall in the middle. It's supposed to be for more of like a doe eye effect, but I like this for making my lashes look PC, if that makes sense, like not super like uniform um i like them to look a little wet if that even is a thing but these are really nice like i really like these lashes they are really nice they have a lot of volume you can even cut them in half if you feel like they're too full for you but i find that it's pretty even and i can also give you guys my lash map because i feel like your lash map is so important when it comes to applying the lashes and to like remember it but i just looked up so this is like what they look from the bottom if you can see but they look amazing incredible like i'm obsessed with this method i used to like not be for that because i used to be like oh my god like i want to get my eyes wet like there are things that i thought like i couldn't do but honestly these are almost identical to like how my lashes look when i get lash extensions and i don't have to worry about them like falling off like i can just do them over or like 
fill them in whenever I want to or if I want a different style like a cat eye then I can do that I'm like obsessed with this method right now and it's seriously like one of my favorites this tinted blush has been my favorite this is from Laura Mercier this one is in the shade coastline and I love it like I think it's so pretty so yeah DIY lashes like I said I'll have the things I use linked down below I do use the kiss lash stuff like the falscara stuff just because I already had that kit so this is the one that I bought initially to try it out and then I didn't end up liking how their lashes looked so I just needed the system and then I went ahead and purchased the other lashes on Amazon which I love um, I think DIY lashes are seriously a game changer I really want to teach my mom but she's not someone that like has the patience for that especially since she has like three kids one being a toddler yeah I just wish like I learned how to do lash extensions so I can do them for her look at how pretty that looks that is gorgeous um, definitely one of my favorite products right now, especially for the winter time. Like this is a great winter shade I feel like I really loved the rose ink blush for like summertime and like going into fall transitioning But this is such a great like autumn winter shade. So Definitely loving this. I always top it with the same blush though So I do use the note blush, but first let me go ahead and set my under eyes I like to set my under eyes with a press powder first so I'm using none other than Miss Charlotte Tilbury. I always have to say her name like that. So I'm just setting it. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is just the small one. I have the big one somewhere, but I don't know. And then I'm just going to, I'm not leaving it on for long. This just really helps with like the creasing. My bronzer is the same. I never, I don't know. I'll just use this until it runs out because I just don't feel like buying another one like so it's never a get ready with me without questions about my dating life of course so i was dating someone with intention like i said someone asked me do you miss the guy that you were dating do you wish that things would have worked out obviously i do wish that things would have worked out but i feel like i feel like you can have so much love for someone and still like not be with them because i truly don't feel like we were the best fit for each other considering like our lifestyles and the things that we had talked about i think one of the kindest things that you can do is like let somebody go and allow them to find their person because sure we would have been hanging on to each other but we would have known that the whole time that we were not right for each other and i don't think that that's okay i think that's kind of selfish because you know that you cannot give this person everything that they want you know that you're not going to be happy with them that you're going to resent them whether it be because you're lowering your standards or because they just don't match to like where you want to be because you guys have different futures like visions i think one of the kindest things that you can do and like most important is just let people go you can't sit there and wish that things were different sure things can be different but it doesn't mean that it's going to be better always take into account like your own feelings and know that everything that you're feeling is valid like i think that's okay and i think a lot of people shame guys or girls for going and hooking up with a bunch of people or like being able to cope faster or girls will say like oh guys are just distracting themselves from like a breakup although i think that's true i don't think you should shame someone for their coping mechanisms i think if it's unhealthy then of course yeah that's wrong but i think that i think that you should give everyone the benefit of, of the doubt and if that's the way that they want to cope then let them i don't think that you should shame someone for the way that they choose to heal everyone is different not everyone needs time right after to like cry their eyes out like some people will feel okay enough to go out to the bars to want to date again and whether or not that person was checked out before the relationship even ended or like the dating period ended that's okay because that's them i think everyone goes through different circumstances and you don't know who's in their ear you don't know who's giving them advice you don't know really what's going on in their life like you don't know anything so to sit there to sit there and say like this person can't cope this way because it's not the norm like i don't think that's okay like i think everyone is different and if they choose to cope that way then let them i mean if you think like okay yeah karma's gonna get them or like they're gonna be sad in a month let them be sad in a month but don't judge them in that moment because everyone's just different like i would never be upset if like the person that i was dating before if he decided to like go out and sleep with other people like i'm not gonna be upset about it and be like oh my god he deserves like everything like horrible to happen to him because he wants to go out and sleep with other girls like that's his prerogative i don't think he's a horrible person because he decides to do that i think sure it might not be the healthiest thing but who am i to say like he could be like you know i feel fine like i'm okay i was already out of the relationship or like i wasn't 
like mentally in it so that's okay like it's i'm no one is like sit here and say like people have to heal a certain way and i don't think that when you're in the dating stage like i don't think you should do that either because like you just never know and maybe i'm just very open-minded when it comes to things like this or some might say like oh jenny you're being really naive because that's not how things work how do you know that how do you, everyone's programmed differently what you're going to talk to your therapist and think that it applies to everybody like no it doesn't i think it's important to just consider it like you don't have to accept it but you can consider it and say like okay yeah i understand where she's coming from but like i just don't agree like that's fine but i do think that everyone has like their time where they heal and they go through things and like like i said you just never know you never know what position anyone is in so i don't think that it's okay to just assume that like they can't be at a certain point in their life or like at a certain point after a relationship and like have people be guilted by like going out on dates or like wanting to sleep with other people like maybe they weren't satisfied in the relationship and like they want that that's up to them like i don't think there's anything wrong with that i'm gonna go ahead and apply highlight to my face using carly's palette and it's just like such a natural shade i love it so much i like to go like in my inner corner and then i'm also gonna take my laura mercier pencil this is the caviar pencil this just makes it a little bit more intense it's like really prominent on like the nose the question was do i miss this person i think like i missed the potential of like what i thought it could be but i think in terms of like dying screaming crying on the floor missing them no i think i healed from that well because he broke up with me initially and then yeah we tried to work things out again and it just like wasn't going to like work out again giving someone three months to try and figure out whether or not they want to be with you like i think that's plenty of time and he obviously couldn't make a decision so i'm not going to be sad over someone that like didn't really want me in the first place <laughs> so i miss the potential of him but like him as a person like i don't think so i think i moved on another person asked can you style outfits for the winter time i feel like i just <laughs> i have a hot take for the winter time i just feel like so many people like it's like really hard because i feel like so many people love like zara and like h&m and i just like can't get with it i don't know why i would much rather spend like a 100 bucks on cashmere than like on a dress at zara like i don't know cashmere is just gonna last me a lot longer and like i think about long-term uses for items and i think that i don't know if i could ever get behind zara again like there are some pieces that i love that i still have to this day I'm trying to think of like one <laughs> let's see i want to say like their short like crop tanks those were really great like their basic crop tank is what i really liked um i don't have it anymore because it got stained with wine but i really love that one and then i'm not exactly sure like my everyday wardrobe i think it's more so like yes yeah, style i feel like a lot of the pieces that i purchased from zara were very like trendy so i think had I purchased items that I knew I was going to use over and over again, I think I would have had a different experience and I would have liked it a lot more. But because I try to primarily spend my, my money on workout clothes or like on slacks that I know I'm going to wear over and over again or like tops that I know that I'm going to love, like that is what I just prefer to spend my money on as opposed to like, I don't know, pieces from Zara that I know are not going to last a long time. Unless they're like very timeless pieces, then like I think it could work, but you really have to like dig deep for those. I love the way my makeup looks now. You guys, I'm so excited about like my lashes because being able to save like a hundred bucks or like 250 bucks like every time is just incredible because my lashes like the lash fill is a hundred and then like the uber to go there and back like i'm gonna be saving so much money which i'm so happy about i did my heatless curls this morning so this is what i'm left with after my workout i want to add some glitter in my inner corner because i just love doing that this is just an innisfree glitter you can get it on their website or it might be on amazon i've never got it on amazon though i usually get it from yes style but i'm not i don't even remember how much this is like seven dollars this is like one of my favorite liners that i always go back to i actually stopped doing glitter liner because i wanted like a clean girl kind of makeup look but it didn't look like exciting to me yeah let me go ahead and set my face so this is my makeup done i'm gonna get dressed and show you guys my outfit which I'm super excited about. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay guys, so this is my outfit and I love the coat so much. I'll have it linked down below. You guys can use the code exogenyday. It's a rewards code, so it's not a coupon code. You have to put it in the rewards code section of the website when you're checking out on YesStyle and you'll get like either 10 or 15% off. I forgot what it was, but these are my heatless curls and then this little bag comes with the um, coat, which is super cute and just has like a little pearl right there and then I have on Lululemon aligns and I love them because they're so thin that they can fit in the boot because this boot is kind of like a little tighter I have another boot from yes style but I wasn't like a huge fan of those because they're really really tight on my legs and I don't know if I'll be able to wear like pants with them because my calves are like a certain size and it's too big um but yeah i love this the top is an off the shoulder top from yes style as well which is super cute because when you're sitting down for dinner you want to like take your coat off and be comfortable so i think it's always nice to have a really nice shirt underneath but yeah that's my outfit i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i love you i'll see you guys next time bye